there where you go. If if both, if we do one side at a time, we bring yeah, that one. around and use that to start. Go. Two, one. Keep coming forward, mate. Did leave it? No. <laughs> Right, you guys have done well. Hello, how are you? Hope you've been keeping well. Ford, it's time to get back into vlogging. I've had about a month off over Christmas and the New Year's and we're just at the house in Mount Maunganui and uh, today's mission is to drive back to Coco to the catamaran and the mission for this week is to paint its bottom with some new anti-fell and get on with a little bit of maintenance and get on with moving out of the house living on the boat permanently. The stage we're at is we brought the boat, sailed it down to New Zealand and this stage is about packing up the house, selling all the junk and, it, and it's quite a big job and it's quite a big step so I'm just going to show you around the house a little bit have a look at how much stuff we've got to sell already sold quite a bit of stuff sold a spa pool sold a couple of spare cars sold my trailer boat but firstly we've got to get cocoa maintenance up to date so we can live on that for the final crossover from living in the house to living in the boat and you know what stuff we want to put in the boat so um cocoa's at Fongaray. we're gonna to have to sail it down the coast we'll bring you on that trip and then get the house rented out so that is the plan for now have a look around so there's just all the stuff this is just a garage full of stuff all needs to be cleaned out and sold let's go into the backyard show you there and i've really neglected the backyard for probably seven years just been too busy with the business and buying boats and stuff oh. this is jake and molly they're gonna come and sail around the world with us also and here is the backyard that's where the spa pool was and yesterday we sold that lovely family they were really funny come and picked it up and in this big space here we're going to put a like a granny flat accommodation and that'll help the budget for receiving rent while we live on the boat so this is my home theater area that's one thing i'm going to miss with living on the catamaran yogi's office which now becomes the catamaran kitchen all this stuff's got to be sold whole kitchen lot of junk and cutlery and so yeah, that's a little mini tour, but let's hop on the road and let's get back to Coco, eh? Okay, bye-bye. We'll miss you. Bye-bye, <laughs> yeah. Molly. And New Zealand's like this. It's full of beautiful drives and gorges. It's a hilly, islandy, seaside, river sort of country to drive through. So if you ever get a chance to come down here, I highly recommend it. Just out exercising in the park with Jake because he's been patiently sitting there watching me all day. He's such a good boy hanging out in the boatyard. He doesn't whinge or complain or make a noise or be a dick in any way. Um, but we're just at the park and I thought I'd also practice being a little bit more cinematic in my shots. So see what you think.
taped up a hose and a little water cap tank so I could wash the dishes and wash my hands on board without messing up the shipyard. So I'm just here sanding the boat. They'd already sanded it but they left it about three weeks so I'm giving it another sand because I really want the primer coat to stick and then there's the anti-foul coats which stop the barnacles growing on it go on top and so we're just being extra careful and doing the job right. But my strategy here is to work with with the shipyard so that's supplying a staff member and I'm helping them that way I've been able to control the process a little bit as well as keep the costs down but at the same time not feeling burdened by doing all the work myself because it's a gigantic job eh? Um, so you sort of get a bit of a feeling of what living on a boatyard's like for the week. Yeah.